Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a new boss seed to share with you. They just dropped another batch of these. The last time they did, they sold out just like they always do. Every time boss seed comes out with a new knife, they sell out fast. But a big shout out to all the channel members and patrons and subscribers and everybody that watches the videos. I love you all to pieces. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, there's links to the knives that you see in the videos in the description and in the comment section. And are you ready? This is the new, yeah, I already unboxed it. <laughs> That's just the box that came in. This is the new Bastide Morel. Yeah, just like the mushroom. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This is a collaboration with RS Knife Works. There, and there's a secret about this knife, so stick around so you don't miss it. There are six different configurations of the Morel to choose from. This one is the black 6065 aluminum coated. And let's go around and looky here. Yeah, looky, looky here. We have a reversible deep carry pocket clip, which is very nice, very, very nice. I like that they have the filler tab, which keeps the show side nice and clean looking. And look at this, almost a completely full length backspacer. That gives it an extra flair. I really like the looks of it. You're gonna like the way it looks. And this is a crossbar lark. Lark, it's a crossbar lark lock, and it does have a little bit of jimping up here. There's your crossbar. It does have a captive pivot with cage ceramic ball bearings. Are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Ooh, check it out. Look at this, I love this blade. And you know what? I'm gonna save this for the spring, and I, I'm actually going to take the morel to do some morel hunting. Are there any morel mushroom hunters in the group that are watching this video right now? Do you go out and hunt some morels? This would actually work very well. And there's your blade steel in 690, baby. And the, you know, the something I noticed, uh, let's see, where was it? Nope, I'll, I'll get to that later. <laughs> I skip around too much, but you kind of do have a, well, you do have a dual grind. You can use this end up here for some, for some heavier duty stuff. Maybe you're making a stick, a pokey stick. I like using a stick when I'm moving leaves around and, and, and undergrowth when I'm looking for mushrooms, but that actually would come in handy for a little tougher stuff. The blade does come down very nicely. It's pretty thin behind the edge. Not too bad. It is a robust blade. However, it does come down very nicely. This would be a good one to work in the garden and just have in your, just have in your pocket. Now this bad boy weighs in at 3.4 ounces. From tip to tip, it's 7.25 inches. It has a 2.9 inch blade, just under the three inch mark. So that is a very good thing. The fit is impressive. I, for a lock bar, I feel nothing. There is zero movement up and down or laterally, nothing at all. Of course, you're gonna get 100% lock up. And you can see your cage ball bearings on the inside. And let me give you a quick size comparison. And then we'll check out the action in the ergos. This is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. One of my favorites. I really love this for an everyday carry knife. For an everyday carry knife, the size of these, all three of these are very, very nice. This is the QSP Penguin. Everybody should have a penguin, right? Now, if you have a penguin, you can see that this is almost exactly the same length. It has just a hair more handle length than the Penguin. But in all things considered, you do have a lot more uh, real estate for your hand because you don't have this hump down here like you do, or up here like you do down here. So this actually will fit a larger hand. And I'll put one more up here. How about the Spyderco Para 3? So see, it's right in that size range. Now, the finish of this knife is very nice. The fit and finish, no complaints whatsoever. Now let's check out the ergos. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And you know, just using this for everyday carry use or using this, you know, just to cut some mushrooms or do some light gardening work, I think is gonna be fantastic. Now there's one thing to note. If you hold your knife back, it depends on how you hold it. If I'm holding this in the hammer grip, the, the ergos are, are just great. You have plenty of room for extra large hands. Now, it depends how you hold your knife. If you hold it out like this, you're going to be fine. If you choke back and you do this number where you set the butt of the knife into, into your palm, that's going to create an issue. This will be a hot, a hot spot 
that pocket clip will dig into your hand if you're holding it back in this fashion. So I've found that I feel a lot better when I move it out just a little bit and it puts that pocket clip down in the middle of my hand, then I'm not feeling it. It's something I always appreciate is that your tip is down here, your pivot's up here, which by the way, has ceramic ball bearings and it's a captive pivot, of course, that you're gonna be able to do utility cuts. A blade shape like this, it leaves it open for whatever your favorite type of cutting, cutting is. You can do some push cuts. The pull cuts are really good on this one because the ergos, they, they fit my hand very, very well for doing pull cuts and the hammer grip. Now for your action, you have Two, two forms of deployment. One, you can use this right here. And that crossbar lock works very well. The blade retention is pretty does a pretty good job on this one. I usually will have some issues with crossbar locks if they don't have good enough blade retention and they bounce out. Here is a look at how well the spring holds the blade. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I made, let you hear the sound while I'm doing it. The reverse flick is very nice. Now I can use my thumb, but I have to give it a little bit of English to open it up with my thumb just because I just get a little bit of the meat of my thumb in there and then just a little bit of English. This is a pretty nice knife. I do like it. I like this right here. Look at that. Giving me some texture because aluminum can kind of be slickish. The aluminum has a little bit of that but they add these lines in here, they add the milling in there, which gives it a nice grippy texture. That is very much appreciated. I like the size of it. It's just, I would say my only real nitpick would be how this pocket clip, you know, if it, if it was uh, maybe just a little less deep carry, um, you wouldn't have that edge sticking out. Um, other than that, I can just kind of feel the edge of the handle and the clip if I am choked back and, and putting it in the butt of my hand. But it does come in at that sweet spot. Everybody sit, tends to like the three, three and a half ounce mark for their everyday carry knives. Me, I'm good up to five ounces or so. It's It all depends on the purpose or the person <laughs> or the purpose of the person. Now your reverse grip, it's, it's comfortable as well. You could reverse grip this to open up some bags of mulch or some potatoes or anything you'd like. So I, I like it. Fit, finish, action, ergos. Maybe just a little nitpick on the ergos depending on how you how you hold it. And then here's a look at your, your heel. Your plunge is way up there so you have plenty of room for sharpening. You're always gonna be good for that. I do like the little added swedge up top. Give a little bit of strength to that tip. I do like this blade shape. The blade shape, everything about it are very cool. And I, man, I'm telling you what, they have some other color variations that look fantastic. So this is the Vostein Morel. Tell me what you think about it. Do you mushroom hunt? Do you like the Morel? Are you gonna do both? <laughs> but go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. Until I see you again in the lives or the hive stream on Friday nights or the comments of this video. Remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.